Supreme before I react to the issues you have raised. There must be a country. There must be a Nigeria before we talk about working together. All of us must know that the existence of Nigeria is key. The existence of Nigeria is key. I'm here as the FCT minister not to look at any ethnic group, not to look at any religious body, not to look at those who say they don't even believe in God. My interest is for the interests of Nigeria, the unity of Nigeria, and the development of FCT. And so I will not be intimidated by anybody, by any group, be it ethnic, be it religion. So nobody should be afraid that oh, people are saying, I'm not worried, I don't even hear, I don't even, I don't even care. I don't. What I'm interested in, what I'm doing, my conscience, is it clear? What I'm doing, is it for the interest of Nigeria? And if I, what I'm doing, the man who appointed me is happy, I go ahead and do my work. There's no way you can be in governance that people will not criticize you. There's no way being in governance that you will not step on uh, toes. So nobody should be afraid that if you don't want to be abused, don't be a politician. You don't want people to carry rumors against you, don't be a politician. Even the religious leaders, they carry rumors against them. They carry propaganda against them. Then you see me, politician. Part of the job is for me to receive all kind of insults. And you go home and sleep, and sleep very well when your conscience is uh, yeah. clear. The National Mosque Management Committee, led by the chairman, Esunupe, was there with his team. And most of the issues you have raised are the issues he has also <coughs> raised. The former president. Olishogun Abbasinjo did uh, say that the national mosque is a national asset. So, so he said about the communal uh, center. So it's a national asset. And that is why the government can award contract for the maintenance of those two assets. If not so, we have no business to go and uh, use government funds to go and maintain religious uh, centers. So what we are doing because it has been accepted as national uh, assets. Not only that, I hear there's a yearly grant of 50 million to the the mosque, the National Management of the Commons and the Christian Association Center. In fact, I saw the one of the, which I minister to you now, to pay to them, because I've not seen their own. It was also the same day that they came, and that was the first time I heard about contracts awarded for the maintenance of these two structures. Before then, nobody had told me. And also, the road that cuts their land at the southern part, they were waiting for the relocation or the give it another uh, location. Since the, that plus 63, since the road had cut the land, it was there, I directed the executive secretary of the FCD to go and bring me the file. Luckily, I've treated the file and I approved for reallocation of the land. But after that meeting, 
I heard on social media that I directed the national wants to be brought. Uh, <laughs> that is the country we are in. I hope to today, if I direct again, <laughs> that Susan will say, he will say that I directed that the economic center should be brought uh, down. Let me advise all of us. You say you are not politicians, but be careful about politicians. Be careful of politicians who are so desperate to get power. Be careful of politicians who can do anything just because of uh, power. It's not everything you read in social media that is correct. Try and ask question. I'm seated here as the minister of FCT. If there's anything you think, you, you hear, that the FCT is trying to do, do not hesitate. Just like you wrote for this course, call. do not hesitate to also say, look, this is what we have. Is it correct? So we'll be able to defend the government and defend ourselves. There are those who could not face us in the political field. What they would do is to roll back to you people, the religious leaders. I said, do you know this man? He hates you people. If he doesn't hate you, would he not have done this? Would he not have done that? And you fall into the trap. Pray for the leadership of the country. When once a leader has emerged, whether you like it or not, a leader has uh, emerged. If God didn't want it so, the leader would not have uh, emerged. That's why when people die, you say that's how it suits God. It's not true. So when a leader has emerged, leave your own personal view. Leave your personal view. Pray for him. Because if he fails, the country has failed. At the end of the who will suffer? This is about you are not happy with his face. No. Pray for him so he can succeed. When he succeeds, the country will uh, succeed. So I have to say this, particularly you, the religious leaders, to know that your position is too important. Very important. When you climb in the pulpit, what you say matters a lot. But once you climb there, you are talking to about 300 people, 1,000 persons, 2,000 persons. You are highly respected. So we must be careful in the kind of preachings, in the kind of things we tell our people that even not true. Not even true. Sometimes when I go to church, I see what people are preaching, I shake my head. I have to come. Where do we get this fact from? Where do we get this story from? And I'm sitting there as a senior government, and I know this thing does not uh, exist. And you are clambering in the pulpit and you are saying it. It's not fair. Every religious leader must be sure that whatever you say, the congregation, they listen to you. And if they don't believe you, who would they believe? Let us not, out of sentiment, out of the person you supported did not win. Everybody must not win. God, all those who control the nation are children of God. They are children of God. God will choose one. Yes. God has chosen a president for Nigeria. Let us pray for him to succeed. Let's leave who he voted for, who he did not vote. All those ballot papers have been torn, shredded. And the government must survive.